Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Apparently one of Harriet Tubman's relatives has responded to what Kanye West had to say about Harriet and she basically put him in his place. I'm going to go ahead and roll the video then I will be right back. If we were left alone, we would be in an entirely different place. And what he needs to understand, if it weren't for people like Aunt Harriet, especially her, because she was selfless. She was already free. She didn't have to come back. She didn't have to risk her life. But she did it countless times. And if it hadn't been for people like her, he would still be on that plantation. He would not be able to be out there and saying the things he says, and he wouldn't have the money he has because they would have it all. So when he says that she didn't free slave, you know, see, he doesn't even understand who she was as a woman. I don't even understand what he meant when he said that she did what she did so he, they could go work for white people. I don't, I don't understand what that meant. I mean, they had freedom to go, supposedly, they were supposed to go work for, be able to work wherever they want to work, create businesses. And we started doing that. We started flourishing, and then they introduced black codes to stop it. That's what she would tell him. She would tell him, uplift. I don't know if he's doing it or not. I don't know where he's putting his money, um, but if he's not, you know, it seems like he wants to talk about a lot of things, but the thing is, is that put your money into something that will uplift other people. Him trying to be run to be president is not one of them. So as you see, uh, this is one of um, Harriet's nieces. She calls her Aunt Harriet. So um, she chimed in and what she had to say was very, very real. She said if it wasn't for her aunt and people like her, that he would still be on the plantation. So for Kanye West to feel uh, the freedom and have such loose lips to say something so unfounded is just ludicrous and it just shows the state of mind that he's in right now. He is trying to do something. He's trying to get a seat in the White House and he's saying things that makes no sense even historically. From a historical standpoint, it made no sense at all. And I do agree with a lot of people. They said that this is nothing more than a distraction. But we have to understand everything in our lives could serve as a distraction if you allow it to. Okay? And this is definitely one of them. I feel like we are being distracted from so many important things. And we are allowing whatever it is that appeals to us to do that. Like we talk to a lot of people about you know, growing food and being prepared for the future and things of that nature. And a lot of you are taking heed to that. And I don't think that that should be our only focus. There are other things as well, even beyond growing food and securing your family and fortifying your life. Even beyond that, there are things that are more important. And many of you won't agree with me on this, but I feel that the most important strategy that we could have for our lives is to fortify ourselves spiritually being ready for come what may it's already difficult enough to prepare physically for things but the spiritual preparation to me is the most important because it will prepare you mentally for the natural things you see and so i definitely agree that many of these things are distractions but um on a daily basis your job distracts you from important things uh, tending to your life. That's why the scripture says the cares of this life choke out the word. So none of us are monks sitting over on a hillside meditating all day. And so we definitely want to know what's going on in the world. And every message is not for everyone. Some people get their wake up calls differently than others, right? Some people hear the commentary of others and that in and of itself helps them to redirect their mind and their focus, okay? So every story is not for everyone. Some of you um, don't care to hear about these things, which is fine, I get that. But not everyone is as woke as you, so everything that we report on or talk on is not for everyone. And so to those who are interested in this story, 
one of Harriet Tubman's relatives has responded and she put him in his place in a very nice way and informed him that if it wasn't for her aunt, he himself would possibly still be on a plantation. Okay, well, Kanye West, uh, he has a lot of growing up to do. We can see that. Um, he is kind of all over the place with his life right now. Um, things seems very sketchy and strange, right? <laughs> very strange. But um, these are the things that are happening in this world. And there are so many other things that are just even more detrimental. Another story that I shared, I'm going to give an update on that as well. <sighs> Coming from the Big D from Detroit, I am always um, interested in what's happening there. I still have a lot of family there. And um, it's just as crazy as it's always been. We get uh, reports from family and friends that still live in Detroit and uh, they get a lot of firsthand news of things that are happening there. And it's always very disturbing and frightening and sad and scary and all of that all wrapped up into one. Uh, whenever you get any good news that comes out of Detroit, you're happy about that as well. But it's really sad uh, when you hear other things. So I'll be touching up on that story as well or giving an update because it is it's just really, really awful for those of you who know what I'm talking about. The young man who went into the Coney Island um, and did what he did. But um, anyway, uh, this is my update on the whole idea of Harriet Tubman doing nothing for our people um, from the way uh, Kanye West put it. Of course, we know that that is simply not the truth. And so um, I take my hat off to Harriet's relatives who responded to this and set the record straight. Okay, with that... I am finished with this story. I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.